Hello, thank you for joining me. My name is Michelle, for those of you who I don't know. I'm a personal trainer and yoga teacher in the Boston area. And during these quarantine days, I'm putting together some nice videos to help you stay healthy and strong. This video is both strength and cardio for the full body. Just giving you a little something to, you know, get the body going for the day. Um, uh, and we'll start with a little warm up and then we're going to start to do uh, some supersets. We're going to do three blocks of exercises. We're going to do two sets of each block, right? So it would really get into those muscles. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started. You will need just a light set of weights, light to medium, maybe even a little bit heavier. You do you always. Uh, and it's a nice clear spot. So let's go ahead and get started. Feet a little bit wider than hips with apart, toes slightly turning out. Slide your hands right down the front of your thighs, send your hips back and down. So you come into this squat position. And then as you exhale, you're gonna round the spine and slowly roll your way up. Head and shoulders come up last. Pull the elbows back, squeeze the shoulder blades together, and then slowly roll it down. Again, hips move back and down. Exhale as you round and roll your way up. Let's do three more. With each one, you might get a little bit lower as you warm up into your hips. Round as you roll up. Last one, I'm going to have you come all the way down into that squat. See if you can reach down, fingertips to the floor. Some of you might even reach for your toes. Keep working those hips back and down, and then start to wiggle your hips a little side to side. Nice. So you can feel some of that work down into your hips hip creases. I'm just going to turn it face this way and I want you to step one foot back. Big step back. Coming into this nice long lunge, you can slowly lower your knee down to the floor. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, your elbows wide. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Two breaths here. Inhaling as you come up. Exhale, elbows wide. Big W shape with the arms as you squeeze those shoulder blades together. One more. Nice, last one, squeeze those shoulder blades together, place your hands down on the floor, fingertips, curl your back toes under, lift your back knee, and you're gonna straighten your front leg. So both legs straighten, you'll start to feel into the hamstrings, all those little muscles along the back of your legs. Down along your calf muscles and your hamstrings. Keep lengthening those hips back. Let's take the hands towards the floor. You can bend that front knee a little bit. Step back towards a downward facing dog pose and just pedal your heels. Ah. Bending and straightening your legs. You might hear a little snap, crackle, pop, right down into those ankle joints. Kneading your feet into the ground. And as you see, you can do this workout with or without shoes. I always, as a yoga teacher, prefer no shoes. <laughs> All right, we're going to get ready for the second side. So the opposite foot comes towards the front. All right, and then you lower the back knee down towards the ground. Lift your chest, feel the front of your hips open. Reach your arms up, elbows wide, creating that W shape as you squeeze your shoulder blades together. Inhale, sweep it forward. Exhale, elbows wide. Inhale, scoop it up. Last one. Hands come to frame your front foot, fingertips to the floor, curl your back toes under, lift that back knee and straighten your front leg. All right, so you're just looking for that sensation. Your back heel, it might not touch the floor and you'll get a good stretch that way. Keep steering those hips. This is the calm before the storm, all right? <laughs> Let's go ahead and bend your front knee. You're gonna step your back foot to the front, coming to that low squat, just like you begin, sinking those hips back and down. Reach your arms forward, pull your belly in nice and tight. Remember those squat positions, you wanna get those knees right over the heels. They might come a little bit forward of the ankles, and that's okay. Now press down and even through all four corners of your feet. Press down and squeeze your glutes as you come up. Let's do that a few times, sit and stand. See if you can pull those hips right under your ribs and you're starting to really engage that core by pulling the navel back towards the spine, lifting that low belly up and in. I think we're feeling good and warmed up. You ready? 
two more like this. All right. All right, first set of exercises. We're gonna be doing a deadlift. You're gonna need your weights. We're gonna do a deadlift with a wide row. Feet hip width apart, maybe even slightly wider. So you're really grounding down through your feet, making sure your feet are parallel towards one another. So don't confuse this with a squat, just a slight bend in the knees. You wanna tip from your hips, lower those weights so they're right in front of your knees, and your back should be flat. So no rounding and no swaying here. Zip the belly button back towards the spine, right? And now we're gonna bring those elbows wide. Elbows come just to about shoulder height, no higher than that. Try to see, can you pinch your shoulder blades together here? Long through your spine. As you get more comfortable with this, let your chin come a little bit more toward your chest or your spine, your neck spine is long. Sometimes when we're looking at the screen, we kind of strain our neck by looking forward. Try to keep the gaze just a little bit out in front of you. Elbows wide, squeeze the shoulder blades together. You know, as you start to do this, as you get towards the end of this, and we're getting close, sometimes you feel that strain in the low back. So what we wanna do is think of the front of the body, the belly, the abdominal muscles squeezing up and in to support your low back. So try that out. Make sure that little bend in your knees, two more. Woo. All right, let's stand all the way back up again. Nice work. Let's go ahead and place those weights down. All right, we're gonna get into the arms and actually the whole body here. Whenever we're doing these planks or push-ups, you're using your whole body. So stepping back into that plank, line your shoulders up over your wrists. Spread your fingers nice and wide and push out through the outer fingertips. Take a deep inhale, exhale out the mouth and lift those hips up and back towards down dog. Let the knees bend a little bit so you can really lengthen the tail up and back. Inhale, you're gonna come forward to your plank. Exhale as you lower down to your belly and then push it back up again. Exhale back. If you need to drop to your knees first before lowering the upper body, you can. All right? Choose the option that's right for your body always. Got to concentrate on this one. Exhale, squeeze the belly to the back of the body. Start to really firm up your quads. Woo. Lift those kneecaps up and in. All right, maybe you come all the way to the floor or you start to just lower to a hover. Press it back up. Woo. Nice, last one. Woo. We come back to down dog. And let's walk our feet up towards our hands and come all the way back up again. One more exercise in this block. This next one is really meant to get the, the heart rate up. So it's a squat and touch. And I want you to get right up onto your toes. So it's touching the floor, get those hips back and down, coming up, reach up, come onto your toes. You're really gonna squeeze the glutes to find the balance and then come back down and touch. Only go as low as you can. So if touching the floor, doesn't feel right for your body, maybe you have limited range of movement because of knees or back. Make the movement a little smaller. Yeah, and then once you get comfortable, you could add a little bit more speed. But again, you do you. Do what's right for your body. Don't ever feel like you have to do exactly what I'm doing. Whew. Nice work, everyone. Watching that clock. Getting that heart rate up. Feeling that whole body work, really pushing and squeezing the glutes, pulling those hips in, reach over the sky. Last three, two, and one. Release. Whew. I can feel that in my ankles, right? So I'm gonna shake those out a little bit. Get ready for that deadlift with that row here so it's a dead row again feet about hip width apart maybe slightly wider little bend in the knees tip from those hips 
and pull those elbows wide. Whew. We're gonna move right through these exercises. Remember, belly to the back, like you're pulling that low belly up and in. Navel pulls back towards the spine. You're somewhere towards a half forward fold. Back is flat. Shoulder blades squeezing. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Nice work. You feel that in the shoulders. Let's place those weights down. Let's make our way down towards our plank position. Hands under your shoulders, fingers spreading nice and wide right on the top of the toes. Get those heels active, feet active. Big inhale, exhale, down dog. <sighs> Empty the breath. Inhale to your plank. Exhale to your push up. Inhale to push up. Exhale back to your plank. You set your pace. <sighs> Remember, lower to your knees if you need to. You don't want to flop to the floor. You want to create a sense of stiffness in that plank, just like a piece of wood, you're stiff and sturdy and strong. You know it. Woo! Ah, gotta love those push-ups. I like to get them done towards the beginning of my workout. Get them over with. Clear the dock. Woo! Two more. You got it. Last one, finishing in that down dog and walking your feet up towards your hands. Enjoy a little forward fold, a little stretch. Roll the spine up. All right, squat, touch. Get on those toes. Remember, squeezing those glutes is gonna help you to create that moment of sus suspension as you come up, right? Get those feet a little wider than hips width apart. Very slight turn out of the toes, not too much. Let's get going. Clock is on. Woo! Oh, I almost fell over. Again, squeeze. Your body feels it more that second round. Use that breath. Big exhale. Big inhale right through the nose. Exhale right out the mouth. Nice, almost there, almost there. I can feel those calf muscles, ankles, all those little tiny muscles that stabilize right around my ankles, right around my knees. Nice and strong. Last one. Whew. Yeah, we want to get that heart rate up. Nice work. So we're done with that one. We're on to the next round of exercises. First one is a lunge with a bicep curl. Starting somewhere towards the top of your mat. Feet are just hip width apart and parallel. We're gonna alternate this stepping of our feet. Stepping your right foot back, curl, and you can bend that right knee, and then step back up. Nice and stable, nice and strong. Here we go. Whew. Ease it down, no rush. Again, feeling the four corners of your feet, especially that foot in front, right? You're gonna feel some of that rocking to the inside edge and the outside edge of your foot. Try to create that stability with each step. Try to create a sense of evenness to both the inside and the outside. All right, upper body, nice and strong, chest up, core tight. Almost there, almost falling over, and three, two, and one. All right. Oh, you can put those weights down. Coming back down into a plank. All right, there's a little pattern here, right? Find that nice sturdy plank. Now lower down to your elbows. Hold it on your elbows. Pull the belly in. All right, we're gonna be doing one side, first round, second side, the second round. So it's gonna feel a little uneven. You're gonna bring your right hand under your shoulder, push up, 
reach that left arm up. Lower the left elbow to the floor. So elbow and reach the right arm up, right? Right hand, press to the hand, right? We come up high on this side, left elbow down, reach the right arm up. Right hand down and reach. So I'm just pivoting across my toes. Whew. Working with some asymmetry here. Again, we're gonna get the second round and even ourselves up on that second side. All right, almost there. Don't rush this one. Feel every little detail muscle in the body. Side planks are great. We work into those side body. Woo! Last one. Push it. You got it. Back to your plank. Walk your feet to your hands. Enjoy this little form full. Shake the head out. Roll the spine up. <sighs> All right, squat jack, right? So this, it can be done a variation of different ways. You can be doing one leg like this, or you can be doing out and in, out and in. Let those knees bend. Let the clock begin now. Woo. This is meant to get that heart rate up. Do what's right for you. If you need that lower impact, if you have knee issues, you want to practice that step, right? You're going to feel that body heat burn. I'm going to do that one with you. This is what you're doing. Everybody's different. We got to tailor these to fit you. Woo! Little movement of the arms. Feeling those arms get tired now. In five, four, three, two, and one. Quick rest. Whew. And we're going to circle back to our lunge. So grab those weights. Lunge with the bicep curl. It's a hammer curl. So they are right by your sides. And that weight's just going to curl right up to the shoulder. You can tap the shoulder. And then you want to bring it nice and easy down by your sides. All right, we're going to be doing alternating legs, but we're going to be moving both arms. All right, ready? Set, go. Woo! Remember, chest up. Don't lean forward. Keep that chest lifted. Keep the gaze out in front of you. Oh, and try not to lose your balance like me. Whew. Slow it down a little bit and really concentrate on these strength exercises here. You know, if you want to go faster, you can, as long as you feel confident and strong in your body that you've got, you're doing this right. Got some good sweat dripping. Last one. All right, here we go. Set those weights down. Step back into your plank position. Now look at your hands. Hands should be under the shoulders. Lower the elbows down. All right. You're gonna bring the left hand this time. Left hand, right arm reaches up. Now it's just right elbow, left hand. So there's that little corner you have to turn to find that control. This is very good for the shoulders building strength all along the shoulders as well as strengthening all those core muscles around the sides of the body right that's why this is a full body workout Whew. Jack, 
with a step or a hop, your choice. You ready? And three, two, one, let it go. So if you're doing the squat jack where you're jumping, again, light feet, light feet. Have fun if you want, pick up some speed. exercises. These ones we're going to do down low. So come down to the floor with me. I'm going to start with just a really traditional dead bug for those of you who know me. This is one of my all around favorite core exercise and it really helps to strengthen all the muscles. We're not just working the rectus, we're working the sides of the body as well as the back of the body. You want to think of your core all surrounding the back, the sides, and the front of the body. All right, let's get started. I just have to talk a little bit so I can catch my breath, right? All right, set position on your back, knees over your hips, arms right over your shoulders, palms facing toward another. Can you flex your ankle and spread your toes? Now pull that belly back, lift that navel, that pubic bone to your navel, and pull the navel back towards the floor. Right, so there's a very tiny gap on the floor. Ready? We're gonna go right leg, left arm. So alternate reaching. You extend your leg and your arm only as far as you can while maintaining an even pressure down through your back. You don't want to rock those hips side to side. So if you feel those hips rocking all over the place, make that range of movement a little smaller. Don't extend that leg as long. So just take a moment. Breathe. Inhale, reach. Exhale. Inhale, reach. Exhale, pull it right back in. Nice and sturdy. Nice and easy. Almost there. Last one. All right, let's put those feet down. Now we're gonna do one side. This is gonna be alternating right side first, then we'll do the left side on the second round. So I want you to go ahead and extend your right leg on the floor and take your left hand and put it behind your head. All right, so you're cradling right behind the back. And then you're gonna let that right arm come out. Right, you're gonna start to lift and float. You're gonna pull that knee in and then hover. So you're never going all the way down. You're just opening a little and then closing it in nice and tight. So you find that nice strength, that stability and resistance down in your abdominal muscles. Really start to press down through that left foot. Feel that anchoring here so that you're not rocking around on your back. The back is staying grounded towards the floor. And you'll start to feel some of that hip flexor in that right leg, that low belly, right? All the way up to that upper left oblique. Let's just do five more, really quick. Five, four, three, two, and one. Nice work. Second side, or not second side, next exercise. This one is going to be a bridge with a press. So grabbing those weights, you're going to let your elbows come just a little bit lower than your shoulders at about a 45 degree angle. All right? You want to line your knuckles up right over your elbows, feet hip width apart. 
Try to get those heels right underneath your knees. You're gonna lift your hips into a bridge. You're gonna hold that bridge and you're gonna press. Keeping those hips lifted. Really squeeze. Squeeze those pectoral muscles. Nice and strong. Try not to let those knees pop out. Keep the knees right over the heels. They have a tendency when, I, when I'm doing this in class or working with clients, oftentimes those knees start to fall out. Really keep those knees centered over your heels, mindfully pressing down through your big toe mound and your pinky and your heel. Those four corners pressing to the floor. Last three, two, and one. Last round of exercises. Are you with me? Back to dead bog. Reach those arms up. Knees over hips. Belly pulls in tight. Get right into that set position. You know it now. And when you're ready, you can begin. Alternating right and left. Inhale. Exhale. Pull it back in. Inhale. Exhale. work. Stay with it. Belly pulling in tight. Don't get soft here. Tap into those muscles. Create stability. Strength. That's five, four, three, two, and one. All right. Second side. We got to get that second side in. So we're going to take the right hand behind the head. Keep the right knee bent, foot on the floor, and left leg long. And you want to just kind of float that left arm up. Now lift the head and shoulders up, and then we're going to cross, squeeze, and open. Yeah, you're with me now? Let's do it. high reps here. Body weight with those high reps. Ooh, I'm feeling it now. We're going to squeeze out five nice and quick. Ready, set, and five, four, three, two, one. Nice work. Get yourself set up for bridge. Chest press. You're ready, he find those feet, heels under knees, elbows pressing down, lift, squeeze the glutes, squeeze the hamstrings, all those muscles along the back of the body, strengthen. Now when you're ready, add that press. Make sure you squeeze those pectoral muscles as you push those weights towards the sky, push them away from you. At the same time, I want you to ease it down. Don't rush the way down, nice and slow, Give it that good push, but ease it down. Control that weight. Don't let it control you. Nice work. We're almost there. Sweat is dripping. Three, two, and one. Let's ease it down. Let's place those weights down. Let's do just a nice little stretch here. Make sure that, you know, this is an important part of your, of your, of your workout is the stretch at the end here. So hug your right knee in towards your chest and extend your left leg out nice and long. And now I want you to kind of rock your right knee side to side. And as you do this, try to keep your right hip on the floor, right? As you bring that right knee over towards the left, can you keep Keep that right hip down so you feel that kind of sensation and then you can open it towards the right and then bring it back over towards the left Give it a couple more times right, next time you bring that knee across we're going to go for the twist you're going to take your left hand onto your knee 
reach your right arm out shoulder height look down your right arm and rolling onto your left side your left hip Whew. right if you're really tight in the pectoral muscles a lot of us are you can keep reaching your palm is up feel that nice opening across the front of the chest a nice spinal stretch <sighs> meet that with some big deep breaths Whew. just taking a moment just to feel happy that you made it through your workout now the hardest part is just kind of like setting up your space and making time and even if you're you know home all day like a lot of us are right now this can be almost more difficult to carve out that space and time at home but boy it makes a big difference let's go ahead and roll onto your back hug that right knee in one more time hug the left knee in rock a little side to side massaging out your low back wherever it needs to be second side hold on to your left knee right leg extends out nice and long and you want to feel that front of that right hip just really nice open up especially since we just did that side and now we're going to go ahead we're going to rock that knee side to side it's almost like you're tossing gently your leg side to side again trying to keep that left hip down Try not to let it lift yet, right? Once we do the twist, you lift it. But right now, I want you to just kind of feel where the sensations are, inner and outer hip. And now we'll get ready for the twist. Taking that left knee over to your right, your left arm reaches out, palm up. And you're rolling right onto that right hip, right onto your right side. And then you're reaching towards the left side of the room. Big breath. Job well done. All right, let's slowly, slowly roll on to your back again. Hug both of those knees in, a little rock side to side. Take your hands behind your knees, rock forward and back. And we come all the way up. All right, let's take a big inhale, reach your arms up towards the sky. You're gonna bend your right elbow, catching on to that right elbow with your left hand. And just slide your hand right between your shoulder blades. You might lean just slightly over towards your left, getting a nice stretch through that side body. Release it. Take that right arm across. Release it. Second side, that left arm reaches up. And bring that hand right between your shoulder blades. Lengthen up through that left side and lean over towards the right. Big breath. Let that breath come right up underneath that, that left rib into the left lung. And then we'll take it across. Left arm across. Nice work, everyone. Thank you so much for joining me. And if you've made it this far, you know, nice job. Good work here. Uh, please feel free to comment. Uh, you know, you can message me right here through YouTube, or if you've got my email, free, feel free to reach out. Uh, let me know if you have any questions, you have any requests. Um, I love kind of hearing back from you, uh, hearing back from my community, uh, and thanks for your time.